Hello, my name is Ken Harrison. I'm the president and CEO here at GMB Corporation. Today, I'd like to talk about some of the fun projects that we have done at our company here in the past few years. I want to talk a little bit about some of the vacuum chambers we've made. We make vacuum chambers for all types of applications for a whole variety of customers. This first vacuum chamber I'm showing you is for a time of flight a simulation study. It is a large vacuum chamber with rails on the inside and they have a sensor that moves up and down on those rails and they can test physics experiments with this vacuum chamber. This particular vacuum chamber was shipped to Australia and it was built to ASME code and was certified. The next vacuum chamber I want to share with you is a cryogenic vacuum chamber. It was a lot of fun to build because it had to fit in a very tight location to get into the customer's facility. So consequently, it was designed so wheels could be put directly underneath the vacuum chamber. And they took the vacuum chamber and they used it as a trailer and pulled it up into position because it, they weren't able to fit large forklifts and other pieces of equipment into the location where this vacuum chamber was going. The next vacuum chamber I'd like to show you is just a basic box chamber. We build a number of these box chambers for a whole variety of different applications, heat treating applications, welding applications, and the like. But uh, again, this is a, a, something that GNB has the capability to design, to build, and to make sure that it works very well. Now I want to show you a vacuum chamber that was made for the LIGO project, the Laser Interferometer Gravity Observatory. There are several different pictures here that I want to show you. First of all, I'll show you the, the picture of one of the vacuum chambers. We made a variety of pieces of equipment for this particular customer. The next picture I want to show you is the layout of the facility. As you know, an interferometer measures a distance. So you, you can set up a laser interferometer and you can measure a distance. Well, this happens to be a laser interferometer and the distance they're measuring is four kilometers long and they can measure that distance with the accuracy of a thousandth of a proton. So you can imagine the extreme accuracy that they're using, and they have it in an L shape, so they're actually measuring distance in two different directions. What they're trying to do with this vacuum chamber is to detect gravity waves. According to Einstein's theory, as gravity travels throughout the universe in waves, it contracts and expands actual physical distances. So when two black holes collide in outer space, it sends a shock wave of gravity waves throughout the universe. This distance will change, and they use this vacuum chamber to measure that distance. And through this system that we helped to provide some of the components for, they actually, for the very first time, measured gravity waves, and uh, several no Nobel Prizes were won for this particular project. The next has a relatively small vacuum chamber but it is for a beam line at a national lab and it's the surrounding equipment that it was really interesting. Uh, there are rotational slides and, and GNB designed and built all of this. It extends and it contracts. GNB also is very very good at aluminum. And so now I'm showing an aluminum vacuum chamber and this particular aluminum chamber has bimetallic flanges meaning that it transitions from the aluminum vacuum chamber to stainless steel in the flange surface so that it can be a conflat flange with a knife edge and because it's stainless steel it doesn't get damaged when the, when the mating flanges are attached. This next vacuum chamber is really interesting because it's a pressure vessel and a vacuum chamber and an electronic device all in one. So we're showing the outside vessel which uh, actually uh, has some pressure uh, that is associated and it's pressurized. Inside of the outside vessel is a vacuum chamber and then there's electrical feed-throughs that go in between. So it was really a very interesting project. GNB also does a lot of work in the ultra-high vacuum industry. And this includes uh, special vacuum chambers that have all metal seals, they have heaters, they are baked out. And I'm giving some examples here of some of the ultra-high vacuum products that we have made. Uh, the item in the middle is a pumping cross. And it goes on a beam line and you can hang the specialized pumps on that. And then the beam can actually go through the, the center of the vacuum chamber as well. 
And finally, I would like to show a beamline component that is being baked out. In this particular case, we have heating elements wrapped around the outside of it. It's a fairly large beamline component and it's uh, in a Y configuration. And we can do the RGA, we can do the bake out, we can do the cleaning. And GNB has a full range of capabilities throughout in the entire vacuum chamber industry from mild steel to stainless steel to aluminum to ultra high vacuum down to basic industrial vacuum. For all of your vacuum chamber needs, please consider GNB. To contact us, you can either use the website as shown on the screen or call us at 916-395-3003. Thank you.